Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by again today. How to reduce your biggest expense in the Philippines. Women. Let's face it. When we come over here, we spend on these women. A lot of money. We probably spend more money in the Philippines on women than any place else. Brazil, Colombia. And I don't know why. We have to change this narrative we have to start thinking in terms of the peso instead of the dollar this isn't about being cheap it's about being sensible so this is what i want to talk about and it doesn't matter if you're going to be here for two weeks two months two years or the rest of your life we're overspending on women over here it's, it's our greatest expense by far nothing even comes close so i'm gonna give you some tips you know, we got to get into the mind of the Filipina, okay, if that's even possible in order for you to do that. But before I even talk about that, you know, I want to talk about something real quick that worries me over here. You know, last night was Charter Day here in San Carlos City. It's Founders Day. It's a big, big event. Well, Marilyn's cousin was shot and killed. And somebody just rolled up to his house and shot him. And they probably aren't going to find out who did it. And that's what bothers me here, man. It's just so easy for somebody to do that over here, it seems to be. For whatever reason, you know, I don't know why. It's none of my business. I'm not getting involved. It's just on my mind today. It's just so easy for somebody to roll up on you, gun you down, and keep going. And more than likely, you know, they're just not going to find out who did it. And that just kind of worries me. You know, it's always stuck in the back of my mind, which I'm going to get that out of the back of my mind. But this house right here, this is another house by Rock Engineering. I think I showed y'all this before. It's one of my subscribers. They watch me build my house, and they're building this house for his mother. I think his mother's in the States right now. But he said, yeah, I was walking across this field, and they saw me. They said, aren't you Sunshine Shoulders? I said, yeah, it's two Filipinos. They're on my community page, a man and his wife. They're both 50 years old. They don't look it. They really look good. They're both nurses. They said, yeah, we watched you build your house over here and i got some land over here i want to build my mother a house what's the name of that engineer you use and i told him and then later on that day we saw them at the roadster 95 cafe that's the place that the engineer owns it's a real nice coffee shop but yeah guys you know in the back of my mind you piss off the wrong person uh you get into it with somebody. It's usually over land or money or something like that. That's why I tell you, don't borrow money. Don't lend money over here. If you're thinking about buying a lot for your girlfriend or something, make sure it's free and clear, man, because it can get dangerous over here like that. Hey, man, Buntag. Good morning. But let's get started on this. I just want to give you some tips on how to save on your money when you're dealing with women hey the first thing i would do is i would put her on an allowance i would put her on an allowance she said well how much is that well by the time you even think about giving her some money and probably even before you met her you should know what type of job she has what her salary is remember Ladies and gentlemen, it's very important that we ask the important questions. We're not asking questions. That's why we get in a lot of trouble. We don't ask what we just ask the little, you know, surface questions, and that's it. You have to start really digging deep and meddling in these women's lives because they're meddling in your life. So you say, 
okay, you find out what she's working. She says, oh, my salary is about 8,000 pesos a month. Well, that's what you give her. 8,000. You don't give her any more than that. And that's for her booty liners and everything like that. If she wants to give her parents any money or anything like that, she takes it out of there. And you don't give her anything else. It's not about being cheap, guys. It's about being sensible. You always got to think in terms of the peso, not the dollar. Imagine if she could get her monthly salary. Or let's turn it around and say, imagine somebody was going to give you your monthly salary back at home. And you didn't have to work for it. All you have to do is, you know, tag along and go on trips and stay in nice hotels and everything, a nice house, a condo for somebody and earn to earn it. But you don't have to go back to work to get it. So put on a lounge, usually somewhere around her, her salary. Something else I'm going to tell, tell you to do, guys, is stop buying real jewelry when you first meet these women. If you want to buy her something, buy silver. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why. My son's mother, I bought her a silver ring with her cubic zirconium and it was so nice. She probably still got it now. She wore that with pride. Because we have to remember, this is in America. A lot of times, nobody's ever even bought them jewelry before. The women that we deal with, I'm saying. And if you can't buy silver, buy that yellow stainless steel stuff that they sell in the marketplace. And you'll see it in the counters by the grocery stores and stuff. Remember, it's not being a, cheap. It's about being sensible because, guys, those relationships aren't going to work. So you, instead of you spending 20, 25, 30, 35,000 on a piece of jewelry, it's not going to work out. She's going to pawn it. Now you spend 1500 And it's the thought that counts. It's saying, okay. I'm going to give this to you now. If things work out, of course, I'm going to upgrade this. But more than likely, the relationship's not going to work. You're going to have to go through several relationships over here before you find one that you're compatible with. So stop buying real jewelry when you first meet these women. First of all, don't even get engaged at first. I mean, take your time over here, but that's my second tip. My third tip is don't go shopping with her. Okay, if you... Hey! If you want to buy her clothes or something like that, let her buy it out of that allowance, but let her go by herself. Because what we're going to do, we're going to take her to the mall. A lot of them aren't used to shopping at the malls. The ones we deal with. They're used to shopping at the Okai Okai store. You think I'm playing, man? Me and Merlin, we've been together... Over four years going on five. Even to this day, they was at the damn Okai Okai yesterday. Okay, it's charter day, so a lot of these Okai Okai vendors from all over the area, they come here, you know, because they know it's going to be, you know, close to a million people here yesterday. So they can earn some extra money. Hell, they was, she was buying shoes for the kids and different stuff like that. I can't stop her. Look. One thing that we, one big mistake we make, we try to change women over here. We try to change people over here. That's a big mistake. You can't do it. Let them be who they are. And the Okai Okai is where they get a lot of that stuff. You see some of this nice stuff Maryland's got. You think I took her to the mall and, and got it. No. I made that mistake one time and one time only. Took her to the mall in Cebu. Spent about 5,000 pesos. Oh, she's trying everything. Oh, oh, I like this. I like that. I was picking the stuff out. She never wore it. Never wore it. Not one time. Because I don't know what she wears. I don't know what she likes. But don't go shopping with your woman. Let her go on her own. If you want to give us some money, let her go shopping. Do it. Because remember, you're going to start buying the stuff you want to see her in. It's a whole lot more expensive than what she's used to buying. We're not being cheap. 
we're being sensible. And once you get married, once y'all have children and stuff like that, you got some skins in the game. Brian Bortag, one of the best and brightest in the St. Carlos City. But then it's different. You can start spending money, but when we come over here initially, these first relationships, they're not going to work anyway. No sense in you wasting money. Money that you're going to need later on. Because I'm the only one that's going to tell you that a woman is your greatest asset over here. I mean, your greatest expense over here. I told you the first time, and I'm going to keep telling you. And when you add it up, you think I'm playing, okay? When you come over here, because a guy wrote me yesterday. His name is Sean. That's, that's all I tell you. And he's telling me, yeah, yeah. Everybody's got different perspective on women and how to spend the money. See, that's why I made this vlog. Because what he's doing, he's trying to get me to co-sign him spending a lot of money on this woman. And I didn't tell him not to. I didn't say do it. I didn't tell him not to. But he said, well, how much am I going to need? I'm going to be there for two weeks. And, you know, he's never mad. He says, oh, she's into me. I, I really like her. She really likes me. So I just told him, I said, okay, you're going to be over here at least a thousand per week if you can afford it remember bring as much as you can afford stay as long as you can on your first trip nothing like that first trip but we gotta start reducing our greatest expense over here and that's our women if you do man you're gonna see it at the end of the month we spend way too much money because we're thinking in terms of the dollar instead of terms of the peso it's a big big difference I was talking to Eric Terry in Elo Elo City. A million pesos to Maryland is like a million dollars to me. A million pesos is like seven, a little bit over seventeen thousand eight hundred right now dollars, U.S. dollars. But it's the equivalent of giving me a million dollars. There's no way in the world she's ever going to be able to save a million dollars. There's no way in the world. I mean, a million pesos. There's no way in the world I'm going to be able to save a million dollars. But they're going to look at it the same way. And it takes a while. But if you got somebody telling you, coaching you, saying, hey, man, this is what it is over here. All you got to do is follow suit. But if you're not going to listen, if you're going to be stiff-necked, like one guy said. He said, you called us hard-headed, we're stiff-necked. Then that's on you. The videos I make, are for real life when you get over here. Let's face it, you're going to spend money on these women when you get over here. I'm trying to help you save on that to reduce the cost of your greatest expense. Stop buying real jewelry over here when you first meet these women. They ain't going to do nothing but pawn it anyway the minute you go back and times get tough. They're going to pawn it. How do I know? Because I did it before. I spent 23,000 pesos on a quote-unquote engagement ring on a woman in 2009. She's trying to get me to spend more, right? I didn't realize why, because I'm like, because the first ring that I looked at was 18000 No, 16000 And she's pouting, and I'm thinking to myself, lady, don't you realize that you don't even work? I mean, I even knew back then, but I didn't know why she was acting this way. She wanted me to spend more because she knew that eventually she was going to pawn that thing. So she was going to be able to get more money for it. Buy that yellow stainless steel stuff that you're going to see out in the marketplace. Sometimes you'll see it in the malls. It's not real gold. It looks like it. It looks like 18 karat gold. Buy that instead. Because the relationship's not going to work anyway. Save your money, man. You're going to need it. Put on an allowance. You, all should, you should already know what kind of job she's got. Most of the women that you're going to be dealing with over here, it's on them dating sites. They're earning anywhere from 4000 to 8000 pesos per month. If that, a lot of them don't have a job. So if you say, okay, I'm going to give you 10000 per month, man, you're going to save a lot of money. Because you're not going to do that. You're going to give away more than that. You see the guy who's giving the lady... 
10000 per week. What kind of job over here can a, a lady get with no college education, no work experience, for 10000 per month? It's impossible. Now, you see all they're cleaning up now. I mean, it was a million people out here. You can see the trash. I did it last time. Now, I'm going to show you. I'm showing you this now, not to make St. Carlos look bad, but to show you how efficient this city is. And you're going to see in the morning, it's going to be like nothing ever happened here. But I just want to kind of show you. Yeah, they, they had the big shindig yesterday. The stage is straight ahead. They had this well-known uh, artist. I think he was half black, half Filipino, but he was singing rock, he was singing um, reggae, he was good, and I didn't make I didn't make a video because it was at night time, I can't see anything in this damn gimbal but this is just some stuff that I wanted to talk to you about in terms of spending over here, we overspend guys, probably more in the Philippines than we do anywhere else in more developed places and I haven't figured it out yet I probably will never figure it out but I can figure out how to save you some money on your greatest expense in the Philippines and that's women so thank y'all so much for stopping by again there's more things I can talk about and I'll talk about them on my live stream today on how you can save money over here you know, when it comes to dealing with women. But the sensible things we're not going to do, you're not going to live by yourself. It's okay to let her live where she's living. But you're not going to do it. You're going to move her right in. You just met her. Is that sensible? No. Your head's in the cloud. Get your head out of the cloud. Yeah, I'm preaching today because guys, their money gets funny over here and you're not, you don't have a whole lot of help when that happens. So wherever you are in the world, there's always somebody worse off than you. Help them if you can. I'm over here in the Philippines. I guess it's about 7.30 a.m. on a beautiful Sunday morning. Every day is beautiful, really. Every day is perfect, really. Our circumstances might not be perfect, but every day is perfect. We get another chance. We get a do-over. Yeah, you might have got fired from your job. We talked to Scott yesterday on the live stream. His woman left him for her supervisor, took the son, took a lot of money in the divorce proceedings. I said, you know what? You're still alive, man. You got another chance. Six months from now, you're going to be thanking that woman for all that she did. You're going to be saying, like, I'm free now. You know, there were some red flags I told him. We all told him. He probably missed them because we get infatuated. Look that word up. It's not love. And you don't see the red flags. It happens over here. We get infatuated with these women. Hey, man, Butuk! You got your head stuck in the cloud. And when you come down, you broke. Now the day goes by, I don't help somebody. We hit 50000 We spin the wheel five times. We're going to do that every week for the next 10 weeks. Because I said I was going to give away the 50000 I wish I could spend fifty all at once. I can't afford it. Remember, don't go broke over here trying to help people. Give back, but don't go broke trying to do it. People need help because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people. We help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you next time. Join me on my live stream later on today. Remember, I have three live streams every week. I'm trying to get back on schedule. I was traveling and everything. I wasn't able to do but one live stream Saturday. So today, I usually do them Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. So today's Sunday, Philippine time. So I want to get back on schedule. This is South Villa 2 over here. This is a real 
nice subdivision where this white house is. If you go back here, you see the South Villa too there. So if you're interested in building over here, lots over here probably run about 1.2 million just for the lot. You may be able to get one for a million if you can find one. And then, you know, that's on top of the house that you're building. This over here is South Villa 1. And then if you go on over, you can see the hill over here. Right over there is South Villa 3. But they got some real, real nice houses. This is where the well-to-do, this is upper middle class here. Because these houses are running anywhere from five to ten to twenty million, man. Some of these houses over here. Take care, everybody.